He'll do the amount of seconds it takes to fill a gallon, then you'll measure the pressure. So you'll just work your way through there. It's not just running water from one side to the other. There's, a, there's some, a method to the madness, right? Sure. One of the most important features of the class is teaching them how to determine when to irrigate and how much to apply. And that's not the most easiest set of factors that you would learn in any other program. They're fairly specific, but it's about teaching students how to, again, to do the amount of water that's necessary, no more, no less, and when to put it on, the timing aspect, so that we optimize for production. We want to produce an abundance and do it sustainably. <laughs> One of the best ways to use water sustainably is by using it more than once. Before the water reaches here, it starts here, high in the Sierra Nevada snowpack, where it eventually melts and makes its way down creeks and rivers to a reservoir like this one, the Pine Flat Reservoir. And it's here where water starts its sustainable journey through hydroelectric power. So the, the electricity is generated actually through the falling force of water. So there's three penstocks that actually come through this dam and they're at a higher elevation and our generators sit at a lower elevation and through that falling force it runs through three turbines so we can put out 165 megawatts of, of power from this, from this asset. You know it's been three different generators and then after it goes through that process it is now fed into the river and is used for the irrigators at that time. So it's, it's actually a multi-beneficial uh, resource, you know, the uh, Kings River, you know, either, you know, through irrigation use, you know, through power use, and also there's a recreational aspect, you know, be it recreation up on the reservoir, or there's also recreational um, uh, uses below the power plant here with the fishery. Once the water makes its way through the power plant and down over 700 miles of Central Valley canals, farmers need to know how to do more with less. It's here at Fresno State's Center for Irrigation Technology where they're doing just that. So we have uh, basically three essential functions. We do uh, field testing of technology. We do research relating to agriculture specifically for irrigation. And then we have a laboratory that tests and certifies irrigation equipment four different research experiments that are all testing different aspects of water use efficiency. That one is focused on a product that may reduce um, consumptive use of water. This system basically generates the fertilizer on site using solar power. Agriculture is almost, all of it is about food, right? So it only matters to people who eat, right? And in California, irrigation is not optional, right? So Irrigation matters to everybody who eats in California. That's why sustainable production practices are important because this is how we're gonna to continue to feed ourselves and the rest of the world. Whether it's training the future of irrigation managers, the use of renewable energy with the help of water, or the research and development of new technologies in irrigation, the future is bright for sustainable water use. My hope is that this institution will continue, as it has done in the past, to generate research and pure science research that is useful not only to agriculture but other scientists. But everyone needs to understand really how and why it's being done so that uh, when they see it being done that they, they understand that the, uh, that practice is really something we have to do and we have to do it right.